Imagine your home has been destroyed and your neighbourhood is under attack with bombs or gunfire. You'd probably want to get out of there as quickly as you could. Then imagine after a long and dangerous journey you find yourself arriving in England. You claim asylum and then after many months, if you're lucky, you will be formally accepted as refugees. But gaining refugee status, that's only the beginning of a very tough journey. You probably don't know the language or the culture or expectations of this new society you're part of. Well, this parish of Blaken on the outskirts of Chester has quite a number of asylum seekers and refugees living here. Most are from places like Iran or Syria or Sudan. Blake and Beacon is a charity in our church hall which exists to provide food for those in need in the community and some of those who've been helped are refugees. And I'm going to ask Kerry now, the manager of Blake and Beacon, to tell us what Blake and Beacon does for people. Uh, Blake and Beacon is powered by a team of really passionate, dedicated volunteers where our members can, can come once a week and collect a bag of ambient items like what you see behind me uh, and also a big bag of lovely fresh fruit and vegetable which yeah when we're having conversations with our members we get to know them pretty well um, and we can signpost them in the direction of, of further support um, it might be a conversation which takes less than five minutes but it can have a really huge impact on them kind of long term um, one group of people which we have been helping uh, quite a lot lately is uh, refugees and asylum seekers and, and we've helped those out in a, in a number of ways um, primarily uh, we provide food here also they've they've come to us for help with other things so um, we've helped with anything from kind of housing to english lessons to legal advice uh, and for example we've helped a family very recently with getting clothing for their children um, as well as actually sourcing some bikes from another local charity um, which we managed to get funding for so um, there's lots of little pieces that we can put together to um, to help these people and um, to make life a little bit better for them and we're really happy to do so I'm going to conclude now with a verse from the Bible, a version of the command to love our neighbour as ourself. It comes from Leviticus chapter 19, verse 34. God said, The foreigner residing among you must be treated as your native born. Love them as yourself, for you were foreigners in Egypt. I am the Lord your God. <laughs>